No bend without flexion. In order to bend along the whole spine, the horse needs a flexible pole which can bend to the inside, as we can see here with Dahlia. However, in these clips you see horses who do not give it the pole. They move without flexion and bend. At first, we gently work on flexion at the pole with the basic exercise, leading in position. In addition to checking and improving flexion, this exercise is used to explain future lunging aids to the horse. An untrained horse will usually react to a signal from the lunge by pulling against it, bending to the outside and becoming tense. It is very important to explain this basic building block gently in hand. This is exactly what river dance is doing. When Sabrina gives gently pulling signals on the lunge, she feels disrupted and reacts by bending to the outside. Wenn ich sie mir angucke im Körper, what I see right now is a horse that is moving straight ahead. She tends to look ever more to the outside and keeps her body straight. Try to gently flex her to the inside and see how she answers. Give soft pulling signals and let's see. Do we get an answer that she will give and flex to the inside? Da sie sich nach rechts stellen lässt. Now we see that she is turning her nose up and out. That means she is not saying, okay, I will bend towards you, but she feels disrupted and wants to pull against you by moving her nose outward. As long as she does not understand this basic building block and you cannot get her to flex inside from a distance, you will not be able to lift her inside shoulder and create a bend. No flexion, no bend. Antwortet. Kommst du kaum dazu, ihr die innere Schulter anzuheben und sie zu biegen? Ohne Stellung keine Biegung. On the right rein, Dahlia flexes and bends very well. But on the left rein, she has visible problems in her pole, which can also be seen under saddle. Instead of flexing correctly, she overbends her neck and tilts her head. When horses tilt their head like this, a supple, continuous bend is impossible. The photo clearly shows a tilted pole. Dahlia's ears are not at the same level, her inside ear is lower than her outside ear. She tilts her head and points her nose to the outside. Touch her briefly and look if the head stays straight. When she starts to tilt, come from below and straighten her head position. Korrigierst ihr die Kopfposition, dass sie wieder gerade wird im Kopf. Ja? Schaust du sie hier? Can she relax her muscles so the pole can flex easily? At first, I put my hand directly on the cavison so I can turn the head and they can clearly understand that they are supposed to flex at the pole. Verstehen, dass sie im Genick sich stellen sollen. Wenn, ne, auch jetzt merkt man, dass sie da. You see that she is still a bit resistant. The pole is not relaxed on the left. She tilts again a bit, and we see that she does not only tense at the pole, but overbends her neck and moves across the outside shoulder. Das heißt, erst schauen, dass du den Hals wieder mehr vor ihrem Körper stabilisierst. Now stabilize her neck so it becomes again a harmonious extension of the line of her spine. Der Hals soll eine harmonische Verlängerung der Körperlinie bleiben. Und dann wirklich schauen, dass sie im Genick. Und deswegen müsstest du auf der linken Seite noch. That's why you need to be on the cavison on the left, so you can help her get a correct head position. Then you can try letting go and explain the lunge signal to her. We can try lunging when she relaxes the pole. It's getting a bit better, but flexing to the left is clearly very difficult for her. She makes mistakes, tilts her head, 
and can't relax. If you let go, she will straighten her neck. When she moves on the right rein, you can let go and she will keep the flexion to the inside because that's easy for her. On the left rein, she still needs support. Okay, now take a break and praise her. If the pole is a problem area, you can massage the pole muscles on both sides before work. Put both hands behind the pole strap and massage gently for a few minutes. It is good if she licks and chews. Here is the edge of the atlas, first neck vertebra, the transverse process. Stroke along this edge with your thumb on both sides, gently increasing the pressure every time. Make sure she tolerates this well. If not, use less pressure. There are often adhesions, small deposits. I can feel small knots and I'm trying to loosen them very carefully. Weniger Druck. Weniger und vor allem dann auch gucken lassen, warum. Aber man merkt hier, sie hat so kleine Knötchen hier, hier knubbelt so ein bisschen. Mhm. Ja, und die versuche ich sanft etwas zu verreiben. Das mache ich auf beiden Seiten. Durch diese beiden Techniken zusätzlich kannst du dann noch Übungen machen, die haben wir auch im Longenkurs gezeigt mit diesen Abkommen. In addition, you can do the exercise chewing out. There, you can carefully place your fingers in the mouth onto the tongue. The horse will move the tongue to get the fingers out of the mouth at the side and mobilize and loosen the jaw. There, these are three techniques that help loosen up a tight pole and jaw. You can do them all a bit before work. So, in the moment, wo sie sich verwirft, musst du schön at the exact moment when she tilts, you need to be very soft and relaxed in your hand. Let go. Give. Don't drive too much to the outside shoulder. She will put too much weight onto the outer foreleg. Yeah. Good. So. Who's better? Fine. This is better. Exactly. Give when you feel her coming into the lunge and get a jerk to the head. Even let her move away from the circle line, because if you hold her, she will tighten the pole. Wenn wir gegenhalten, machen Sie das Genick fester. Und noch mal zurück. Das heißt, an den Kurven, wo du weißt, ne, dass sie sich gleich besser hat. Better. Much less, right? Really good. <laughs> sehr, sehr gut. Also in den Kurven. So, in the curves, when you can expect that she will come into the lunge and overbend her neck and tilt her pole, you need to guide her with your body language. Turn your belly button left and let go. Then the mistake will disappear in time. Ja. Wenn du lernst, das wirklich ne, jetzt schon ja. loslassen. Ich ja. darf wirklich nur ganz bisschen links rum. Ja. ja muss sie wie ein you need to treat her pole like a raw egg. If she feels even a tiny bit of pull from the lunge, she will go into her fault. Here we see Losti try leading in position for the first time. You can see he clearly tilts his head. Let's not do this too long, but do some other exercises. If we try too long to get correct flexion at the pole, he will probably tense up. Then he won't answer with relaxing, but get worse. When you see that, you need to do something else. Maybe a little trot on a circle, maybe some lateral movements. See what helps him relax. When he can do it a bit better and can keep his rhythm, we can try to correct the position of the head dabei hält. Dann fangen wir an, den Kopf zu korrigieren. Das heißt, wenn du dann merkst, dass er sich statt sich 
If you feel him tilting his head instead of flexing at the pole, you can touch his lower jaw and try to get him to straighten. Ihn immer wieder den Kopf gerade zu positionieren und guckst, ob das funktioniert. Mm. Ja? Wenn das nach Do this for two to three weeks on and off, not every day, not every time you work, but about two to three times a week. If brief leading in position does not improve after all that, you should ask an osteopath or veterinarian to check why there is so much tension. Find the cause, even check the teeth. Many things can cause tension in tilting the head. It is worth it to find a lasting solution. Ja, und dann die Ursache, Zähne kontrollieren. Mhm. Also es können ganz viele Ursachen haben, dass ein Pferd sich im Genick verwirft. Und äh, wenn du also merkst, du bekommst es nach einer Zeit nicht verbessert, dann ist es immer noch mal Zeit, jemand anzurufen, der dann schlauer ist als wir und guckt, warum tut er das. Mhm. Ja? Okay, jetzt machen wir. Walk next to his head. The mantra is kiss on the hip. Exactly. He is walking smoothly now. You can try letting go and touching him on the cheek to straighten the head. Lassen kannst, um einmal ihm eine Berührung an der Ganasche zu geben, damit der Kopf gerader wird. Ja. Nein. Hast gemerkt? Yes, you see? That was super, really good. For that he needs to keep his rhythm and a soft bent neck so you can let go for a second without him pushing again. Weil sonst ist er sofort wieder am Drängeln. Aber jetzt, wenn er so locker anfängt zu werden, dann kann ich anfangen, ihn immer mal... When he's getting a bit more supple, you can try to clarify the correct flexion. You can remove the hand, briefly touch the jaw for correction. Again. Did you feel that? See? Much better now. Go forward, go forward. Super. Once again. Ja. Yeah. Exactly. Now he's softening. Can you feel it? Yes. Now you need to fix it again. Four weeks later, the exercise looks like this. Losti is supple at the pole and flexes beautifully to the inside. This is really good. Ah, looks great. That is the bad side. No, that was the bad side. Look how well he does it now. Very, very good. Looks totally different. Here is Dunnit doing leading in position for the first time. At first glance, he is doing very well, but he is not completely supple at the pole yet. He is not letting go completely here. That means the jaw cannot rotate under the atlas. He is not letting go at the throat latch. Now it's getting a bit better, but you can see he is not really giving. Can you see the slight tilt? Now it's better. Yes, now he lets go. Good, good, he is letting go. But that should get even lighter. I still feel some pressure against my right hand. If I would let go, he would immediately quit flexing. He's not really letting go, but it's coming along. He was not supple at the pole going to the right. He tilted his head a bit and did not rotate the jaw under the atlas. There was some tension. I felt that if I would let go, the head would immediately move outward again. That's what you feel when they don't relax completely. Das heißt, wenn ich das jetzt merke, mache ich gar nicht zu lange auf der rechten so, if I feel that, I would not continue working on the right, but turn around and work on leading in position going to the left. I massage the muscles at the pole. Okay. Und dann wieder nach rechts zu gehen, weil yeah. dann ist wahrscheinlich links ein Gegenspann drin. Okay. Und deswegen... I am letting the muscle on the left side relax by shortening. Mm. Und mache ihn etwas kürzer. In der Hoffnung, dass dann now I hope he can stretch it better when we change rein to the right again and he can flex better to the inside. It is never a problem for a muscle to shorten, but it can be difficult to stretch. 
Massages of the tense areas of the neck can help achieve relaxation and giving it the pull. If a horse shows this tilting of the head all the time and exercises and gentle massages don't improve it, a veterinarian or physiotherapist should be consulted for treatment.